Hey everyone, welcome back. In this lesson, we will see how to install Visual Studio Code. For to install Visual Studio Code, go to Google and type VS Code and click on the first link that appears Visual Studio Code editing software. And this is the official website of the VS Code. And what you need to do is that just click on download. Here you can have the different versions of the VS Code depends upon your operating system. Please download the respect to Visual Studio Code. In my, in my case the operating system that I am using here is with Windows. So that's the reason I am going to use this Windows. So for Windows make sure you download the system installer not user installer. And for system installer choose the appropriate uh, bit and download it. In my case my operating system is 64 bit so that's the reason I am clicking on 64 bit and downloading it. Wait for a couple of seconds until your VS code has been downloaded. Yeah, done. So my VS code has successfully downloaded now. I have copied my VS code in the, my desktop and this is the executable file. So what you need to do, just right click and run as administrator. And now you accept all the terms and conditions and next. And just click on next and if at all you ask for if already exists then would you like to install anyway then it just proceed and click on next and next one is just check all the checkbox that was there and click on next and click on install that's it this is a quite easy process so you no need to worry about that uh, even though if you have any warnings or something just keep proceed okay done now you can see that i have successfully installed my vs code and click on finish so in order to check that vs code is successfully installed or not what you need to do is uh, just click on this windows button and here you go you can see that vs code is there now click on this vs code okay this is what you're going to get here and if you can able to see these kind of things that means that you have successfully installed your Visual Studio Code. I'll see you in the next lecture on more about installing some necessary plugins for VS Studio Code for the project.